you searched for the 9700K, all you would see is how hot this thing runs when it's overclocked? Yeah, this thing runs super hot. This thing's insanely hot. Insanely hot. The i7-9700K is on fire! Ooh, that's a hot CPU, boy. The hot CPU, boy. I remember responding to a thread about the 9700K, and every single person that replied to it was like, Oh, you better get an AIO. You better get an AIO. That thing's gonna overheat. Trust me. Old McDonald had a farm. E-I-A-I-O. And I'm sitting over here cowering, going, Well, you see, I'm not really gonna overclock. It, it, it will at least not that much. And if I don't get one, what'll happen? Get the damn AIO. <laughs> And don't believe the water cooling purists that believe you can only get a good overclock on a high-end CPU on water, because it's simply not true. There are so many good air coolers nowadays that can get insane overclocks. So I just got completely off topic, so let's get to the purpose of the video before I start rambling again. And after a lot of research on different types of AIOs, different size radiators, I decided to go with the Corsair H150i Pro, 360mm radiator. So really the whole point of this video is just to see how much of a temperature difference there is between three fans or six fans on the radiator. And if there is a difference, how much? And does it really make that much of a difference in temperature? So since we're just looking at temperatures here, it doesn't really matter what fans I use, as long as the fan RPMs stay the same for each test. That must stay constant. But the fans I will be using for the test are the Corsair 120 ML fans that came with my Corsair H150i Pro and my Corsair SP fans 120mm. Those came with my Corsair 570X case and are geared for high airflow. All fans will be at 1600 RPMs, and keeping with the theme of staying constant, I did each test the same day, so the temperature fluctuations between tests was minimal. My i7-9700K will be overclocked to 5.0 GHz at around 1.27-1.3 volts. I'll be using HW monitor to monitor temps and clock speeds. Right now it's at idle, you can see by the temperatures right there, and also we're running at 5 GHz. We'll be running the small data set test in OCCT, thread count is 8, this is an 8 core, 8 thread CPU, no AVX instruction set. All my voltages are being monitored by OCCT, you can see it in the window to the right. Alright, so let's start the first test. No. More fans, better cooling? Who would have thought? Yes, in the end, six fans cooled better than just three fans, no matter what configuration they're in. For all six fans, the hottest core was 76 degrees Celsius. For three fans in push configuration, the hottest core was 80 degrees Celsius. And for the three fans in pull configuration, the hottest core was 81 degrees Celsius. So all six fans in push-pull configuration did about 4 degrees Celsius better than just three fans. 
And as for what's better, push or pull, this test was inconclusive. They both were essentially the same. So what does it all mean? What is the writing on the wall? Well, for one, six fans doesn't do that much better than three fans in any configuration. I think all six fans did four degrees Celsius better than the three fan configurations. Which is, you know, yeah, 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 I get it. Yeah, you get four degrees Celsius. But, I mean, it really doesn't merit going out and buying fans and doing a push-pull configuration unless you're trying to squeeze every ounce of cooling you can out of your precious system. Or if you're doing some serious overclocks and you need just that little extra bit of cooling to push you over the edge, then sure, have at it, my friend. And who knows, maybe if I had some better fans, I would have gotten better thermals. Maybe something like EK Vardars or Silent Wings 3 by Be Quiet. But, on the other hand, if you're like me, you like putting stuff together, you like building stuff, you like to see how things work, and you want every cent of performance you paid for, because good old G by golly, it's yours. So go ahead, you got three extra fans on hand and you got a case that can handle it, go ahead and slap them right on that AIO. Get that four degrees of extra cooling, I say.